Welcome! Let's learn Disney Mickey's Christmas Carol Game, a 2-4 to four player game for ages 4 and up, published by Funko Games. The goal of the game is to complete all four puzzles before Scrooge wakes up. To set up, choose which four puzzles you will be completing this game. For our first game, let's choose 1, 2, 3, and 4, and return puzzles 5 and 6 back to the box. They will not be used this game. Next, take all the puzzle pieces from all the puzzles, add in the seven special tiles, then place all the tiles you will be using this game into the bag. Next, mix up all the tiles and set the bag nearby. Next, place the clock board in the center of the play area. Assemble the Scrooge mover and place him on the nine asleep space. Then arrange the four puzzle frames in numerical order around the clock board. Work together to tell the story of Mickey's Christmas Carol by completing all four puzzles in order before Scrooge wakes up. On your turn, you may draw up to five tiles from the draw bag. And remember, you want to complete the puzzles in order, so hopefully you've drawn lowered numbered puzzle tiles. You do, however, want to avoid drawing any of the Special tiles. Now let's say you drew five tiles and they were all puzzle pieces. The next step is to take two of those pieces and return the rest to the bag. So in our example, number one is purple, so we'll take the two purple pieces, place those in the frame, and place the remaining pieces, if any, back in the bag. But along the way, you could draw special tiles. If you draw this piece, you must stop drawing and play any pieces you have already drawn on your turn. Then move Scrooge one space clockwise, then return the special tile to the game box. It will not be used again this game. This tile works the same way as the other tile. However, there is one key difference, and that is after putting the pieces in the puzzle and moving Scrooge one spot clockwise, this tile goes back in the bag to potentially be drawn again. If you draw this tile, you must continue drawing until you have five tiles drawn. Then you must choose two of the tiles to play. After playing two of those tiles, the remaining tiles must be placed back in the bag. If on a player's turn they end up not playing any puzzle pieces, they get to go again. And because you are able to draw up to five tiles, you can stop drawing at any time. If you complete a puzzle and it's in numerical order of completion, move Scrooge one space clockwise, regardless of what the number at the top is. So if after one, two were to be completed, Scrooge would move one space clockwise. However, if a puzzle gets completed and it's not in numerical order, Scrooge still moves clockwise, but he moves according to the number at the top of the completed frame. At the end of a player's turn, the next player clockwise is the one to get the draw bag to push their luck. If Scrooge reaches the 8, awake, space, all players lose. But if all the players complete all the puzzles before Scrooge wakes up, all the players win. Before we go, for a more difficult rules variant, try switching out one of the four puzzles for one of the higher numbered puzzles. This will have the effect of Scrooge moving more spaces if these are completed out of order. Thank you for joining me to learn Disney Mickey's Christmas Carol game. Have fun, and I invite you to join me next time as I do a playthrough.